So just wrapping up a trip to Bob's Lake Cottages. It's an article you'll see featured in a recent issue of Ontario Doris Magazine. And I brought the family up here. It's not that far of a, a trip for us. This is uh, located about an hour north of Kingston, maybe four hours from Toronto and about two hours from Ottawa. That's driving slow. So it was one of those uh, short getaways. We were only here for three or four days. But what uh, kind of what kind of defined this trip was the rain. It rained almost from the time we got here to the time we're packing up. It's still drizzling down. Um, but the real story, I guess, is the fact that in spite of what might seem like really challenging conditions to take the family out for a vacation, the family and the kids in particular just had an absolute blast. We stayed at the Badur Island Cottage, and the best way I can describe the Badur Island Cottage is it's a spacious playground. We had a ping pong table in there, we had Wi-Fi, oh, there's ice cream makers in all of the cabins, so we really had a good time. And when we did get a chance to get out onto the water, the kids were doing uh, wakeboard or paddle boarding and uh, kayaking as well. In terms of the fishing, uh, Bob's Lake is a huge lake. There's no way we could have possibly covered it in uh, three or four days that we were here. So the major species, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, walleye, and there's lake trout. And we caught all the major game fish species except for lake trout, but we didn't try very hard for those. In our top presentations, we were largely throwing, well, what turned out to be our top presentation. We tried a lot of different things, but our top presentation turned out to be uh, bucktail jigs. We also use this thing. It's, it does the same thing as a bucktail. It's called better than a bucktail. It's a bucktail with a living rubber skirt and some mylar in it. So those types of jigs, we would uh, fish very fast trying to cover water, trying to learn the lake, and just targeting any deep green weeds we could find. Uh, we caught pike almost, and I'm not exaggerating, almost at every place that we stopped. There's that many pike here. And we got some real nice walleyes. There's a con conservation slot limit in this zone. All the walleyes we caught were bigger than the slot, so I wouldn't come here to eat walleyes, but if you want to catch some good walleyes, the potential's here. So anyways, that wraps up sort of our experience for the accommodation and the fishing. I also got a chance to do a short interview with the owner, Mar Marla Isaacs, and I asked her to give us some of her insights into the, the larger um, complex of cabins and if she had any advice for people who were thinking of coming up and booking a trip. Bob's Lake Cottages has something for everyone. Some people will love our island properties and other people will want the luxury of the drive up properties. I always recommend that you call me before you book because a vacation has to be perfect and I want to make sure that it is perfect for you. So your family might prefer a very rustic Bador Island compound which has a main cottage, a guest cottage, a tree house, a basketball court half size, lit at night, a ping pong table, but it's up 79 steps from the lake. Or your family might prefer the main cottage which is a six bedroom, five bath luxury cottage that can fit 50 people to eat. Every cottage is lakefront. Every cottage has an incredible view. We have a fish cleaning hut for the fishermen. We have fancy kitchens for the wives or partners who are coming along. And we have great stuff for the children. Our drive up cottages are accessible with assistance and the new one has a full handicapped bedroom, bathroom, wheelchair accessible. My son's business is dogvacay.com, so we are very dog friendly in all of our cottages. For the fishermen, the rates drop in the off season, and we also offer ice fishing as well. We're open all year round.